News 10 is working for you to figure out what's going on at Vincennes University. Earlier this week, several viewers reached out about a possible scary situation. Tonight, there's a lot of speculation about campus safety. News 10's Eric Stidman has details from our Southern Bureau. A fight early Monday morning near Vincennes University started a spiral of speculation about on campus safety. Vincennes University police worked to break the fight up, but say that's when it spilled onto campus. Since Monday, students have been letting the rumors fly. There was a shooting, but I don't know if that one's true. They're saying that people are trying to start riots. The things they're saying is that uh, kids from Chicago are to come down to this campus. People just saying that, oh, well, I'm going to fight this person, I'm going to fight that person. I think it was Monday, someone got stabbed. It would seem the students aren't sure about what really happened Monday night. Police say despite talks of shooting, stabbings, and students rioting, none of that is true. Officers did make an arrest earlier this week and things have been quiet ever since, but as an added precaution, have added police patrols during overnight hours. But I will say that in the defense of the campus that they have like bumped up security and there's more police officers. Last night we noticed that there was a lot more patrol going on than normal. Police say lots of the talk started on social media sites and for the most part that is where it has stayed. I personally feel safe. I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm from Indianapolis. There's a lot that went on this summer. I'm, large crowds really don't, you know, scare me or anything. VU police say if students are worried about traveling on campus, they can call the police department for an escort. We'll have that number for you at WTHITV.com. Back to you in the studio. News 10's Eric Stidman with that report. The university issued a statement earlier this evening. We'll also have that on our website along with this story.